is Lorraine Kane. Go Panthers and go Pirates. Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Upper St. Clair High School. Of course, it's the home of the Panthers. And of course, it is still a ladies volleyball night. I'm Kevin McGahey. Cody Lance behind the camera for you tonight to bring you tonight's Section 2 contest. This one is for capes between the homestanding Lady Panthers. They'll be playing in the black jerseys with a white trim left to right here in set number one. And we welcome tonight the, the Indians from Peters Township High School. They'll be playing right to left. And as we sit here right now on October 1st, 2013, the Panthers are tied for second place with a 4-2 section record with the Connellsville team. The Indians one game behind. This is a rematch. We took the, the uh, Indians uh, th uh, in a 3-2 match earlier in the season at their place. This is their response, and we'll see what the Panthers have got early on here. Shh, Leah Kern placing it down on the Peters side of the bench. And the Panthers open up the scoring with that initial Leah Kern kill. one nothing, As you well know, Lisa Oxnard with, my goodness, with a hard driving serve. Leah Kern, oh, she probably should have hammered that down, but she placed it right back to the Peters defense. Short, oh, Taylor Haley. Yes, she does get credit for the kill. Taylor Haley, the setter, doesn't normally get kills, but that time she put it over on the second touch, and just like that, the Panthers race out to an early 2-0 lead here in the first set. Set, it's a best of five match. First one to win three of those takes the match. A set goes to 25 and it's an ace. Whoa, Lisa Oxenreiter. Right in the third straight point. A set goes to 25, you have to win it by two and a point is scored on every serve. Not like when you and I were growing up and that ace is just flat out hammered Back to the back left corner, just inside the back line. And it is a four, nothing Panther lead. Lisa Oxenreiter still serving with a nice little hop serve this time. Not so, not so much velocity on it. Popped up by number eight, Abby Drukas. And Sydney Slater did not exactly find the floor, had a good shot at it. There's the Taylor Haley set, left side, Sydney Slater again, but right into the block, recovered nicely. It'll be a free ball, Indians, this time. Just sort of popped over there for them to work with. From the middle. A little joust action. Now that goes long off the hands of number 13 for Peters. That is junior Sarah Comer. And Lisa Oxenreiter, five in a row here to start this match. Oh, get oh, just long that time. She tried to do the same thing by, by popping that down on the end line. It goes just long. Side out. Point Peters, and it's number 10 now for the Lady Indians. Jillian Kovac, a senior with the serve. A floater. My, that, you, that was a knuckleball. You could see that one jump all over the court. And a nice put down by Taylor Haley again. Panthers get the side out and point back at 6-1. The Taylor Haley set this time left side, Sammy Amos this time off the block and down. Sammy Amos, the super sophomore, leads the team and kills by a wide margin. That's her first of the night. Seven ones, the Panther lead. Sydney Slater again with a serve. With the left hand, Abby Drukas gets it over. Oh, nice block by Taylor Haley on the overpass. Lisa Oxenreiter, and from the back row, Sydney Slater. Keep it in play, it's a free ball. Indians left side, slicing attack. Sydney Slater with a great dig. Sammy Amos, oh my, but right at the defense. Thought that one was home, and it goes wide. Whoa! 
The Panther lead is 8-1. It's real early in this match. There's a long way to go, but it's a really good sign. Left side with a left hand dug out of there by Lisa Oxenreiter. And down it goes. My goodness. That's the kind of power we haven't seen in a couple of home matches yet this year. Uh, in, uh, this couple of weeks, I guess. Sydney Slater again, a hard driving low serve. Free ball, Lisa Oxenreiter with a bump. Taylor Haley with a quick back set. Well, Leah Kern wasn't ready for it. I think they called the old slide play where Leah Kern was to slide behind this back set. She didn't quite get there in time. It goes into the net, point side out. Heaters. Where number 11 steps up, Maddie Ald. She's a senior. Oh, outside hitter. Oh, and it's an ace. Uh, Lisa Oxenreiter and Abby Drukas couldn't decide who was going to take that. Drops in for an ace. Panthers still lead by six, nine, three. Over it goes, and on the overpass, off the block and out of bounds, yeah. That overpass has got to go to your own side. It went to the Peters squad, and it got hammered home. Panthers lead by five, 9-4, real early, first set. And another ace. Well, Panthers just lost focus here for a little bit. That had a big lead, and now it's back to 9-5. On the second touch, just nicely covered by the Indians. And there's a left-handed attack from the right side. You don't see that very often. But that was number 18, Katie Puckett, a sophomore, who got credit for that. 9-6 now. Panthers need to focus on some defense. Lisa Oxenard, there's a Taylor Haley set. And Sam Amos, not one she could really work with. It's still in play on the bump. Sammy Amos again with the left hand, but into the block and out of bounds. That, that's a kill. Sammy Amos. Good Taylor Haley set. Good, even better, Sammy Amos finish. 10-6 is the Panther lead. Now Leah Kern, the sophomore middle blocker. Good driving serve, and that will be an ace. Leah Kern, that was barely over the net. Three aces so far on the night already for the Panthers out of 11 points. A little more conventional. There's a set left side. And ended right into the Sammy Amos blocking down. The Sammy Amos and Becca Van Risen twin block. And so far the Panthers have doubled up the Indians. 12-6. Leah Kern again driving serve. That'll go backwards. Yeah, that's nice to see. That means a free ball for the Panthers. Yes, indeed. Taylor Haley, it's a bump set. Sammy Amos does finish it off with the left hand. Sammy Amos. That point is history, and it's a third kill already for the stupendous sophomore. And it's 13 6, a seven point Panther lead. And Leah Kern whacks one right into the net. Service error gives Peters side out and point, and it will be number three. The libero doing the serving for Peters. Good serve. Taylor Haley with the set. Left side, Sammy Amos again off the block and down. That's working. Sammy Amos taking advantage of the tip block by Peters Township. And it's Taylor Haley now, the senior, with the serve. Right side, again with that left hand. Abby Drukas takes it, but it's in the net. Oh, it's dragged out of there. My goodness, that, that's not easy to do. Great dig by Sydney Slater. Lisa Oxenrider with an unusual attack attempt. She usually doesn't get those. Off the block, Abby Drukas back. Oh, my. And, oh, that's still, it's out of bounds. Well, an interesting sequence where a lot of players doing what they don't know are normally tasked to do, but that one worked as Peters hoisted it out of bounds to the near side and the Panthers off to a 15-7 lead here. 
in set number one of this section match here on October 1st. My goodness, it's a great start for the Panthers. We've had a couple of uh, interesting outings here. Panthers in at a, with a 4-2 and two section record right now, trailing the Cannon Mac Big Max, Big Lady Max, I guess you'd call them, who are in there with an undefeated section record so far. Cannon Mac beat us here last week 3-1. to one. We took Peters Township 3-2 to two at their place a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago, I think. The teams were pretty evenly matched then. And the Panthers took, a, took it on the chin 3-0 to Connellsville last Thursday night. Well, right now, Panthers off like a house of fire here. An eight-point lead halfway through set number one. Taylor Haley, little drop serve over the net. And that one won't come back. Taylor Haley fooled him. With that little teardrop serve right over that doggone net. 16-7 is the lead. Taylor Haley still back there with that serve. A little more conventional that time. There's the setter, the little set to the left side. And the attack goes way long off the hands of number eight for Peters Township. That is sophomore setter Caroline Curran. Another one just dropped over the net and Oh my, does go over, and Becca Van Rysen with a little push. Not really an attack, it's more like a back rub. But it works off a couple of hands and over the back line, and Becca Van Rysen in the books with her first kill. Taylor Haley again just dumping the serve over the net, barely clearing the tape. Left side. Taylor Haley with a tremendous dig, keeping that one alive. Abby Drukas is hoisting it over the net. Left hand, it's still in play. Panthers playing some decent defense to get started here. Free ball, Peters again. Left side, just touched over, but covered nicely by Taylor Haley. Down it goes, the set from Annie Kavrich to Sammy Amos for kill. Number five, whoa, 19-7 is the Panther lead. Taylor Haley again. Left side attempt, and it goes way long again. Caroline Curran doesn't quite have that court measured, or there's a heavy breeze blowing down there I don't know anything about. Taylor Haley again, nice run she's got going, 20-7 to seven all of a sudden. Sydney Slater pops it up. Sammy Amos pops it into the block. Wow, she hammered it, but it went right into the Peters double block, and they break the run of Upper St. Clair points here. It's 20 to 8 now. Peters with the serve. Let's see who goes back to take care of these chores. A substitution number one on the floor right now. That is freshman Sarah Necky. Good top spin serve. Abby Drukas pops it up. Hit Taylor Haley with sort of a bump set. And it will be a free ball, Peters. Off the net. Yes, off the net. Not off a of St. Clair block. It's off the net and out of bounds. St. Clair gets the point and the side out at 21 8. Sammy Amos with a hard driving jump serve. It's amazing they got that. Annie Kavrich just dumps it over in front of Peters' back line. Pancake move attempt by Peters did not work, and Annie Kavrich gets kill number one. Sammy Amos, the jump server, 22-8 now. So we'll see, yes, she will use it again. Nah, that's what happens with a jump serve. It can hurt you, it can kill you. Once you're up in the air, you lose control over that doggone thing. Service error. Side out, Point Peters, but the Panthers with a 13-point lead at 22-9. Abby Drukas from the back where it'll be. Sammy Amos bit into the net. Too bad. She had a good look at that one. Another four inches higher. That would have been a point. But it goes over to the Indians instead.
Taylor. Haley, yeah, but the set. Either way, that one's either going to be four hits or a net violation. The pass went too close to the net. Taylor Haley couldn't do much with that. Caroline Curran handling the Peters Township serve. Sammy Amos with a bump. Taylor Haley with a set. Sydney Slater, oh, not with a finish. I thought she could get that one down. Oh, man, it hammers it into the net. Well, Panthers still with a comfortable lead here at 22-12. Caroline Curran. Serving again. Good one, little floater. From the left side, Sydney Slater off the block and down. That one, that's what she wanted to do a minute ago. She's had a lot of activity over there, but it's Sydney Slater's first kill. Now the Panthers two away, two points away rather, from taking set number one is 23-12. And it looks like it will be Abby Drukas, number eight in the libero jersey. With the serve. And a good one. Handled by Peters. It'll come back to the left side and down it goes. Yeah, nicely placed. By number 11, Maddie Ald, senior outside hitter. It, Panthers can trade points from here on. That's fine. Angela Crack, number two. An unusual serving style here. It's a little hop serve. At the net, Taylor Haley, left side. Sydney Slater, slicing attack, and down it goes. That barely cleared the 10-foot line. With, an, a very, with a tremendously acute angle, and I don't mean it is pretty looking. That was a really sharp angle she hit that thing at. Anyway, it's Lisa Oxenreiter back around the rotation for the serve. She had a couple of aces early on. There's the set, and well, it's Sammy Amos right at her. Panthers now with set point. Sydney Slater could not get wood on it. Down it goes, yeah, well, that's a nice hit. Nice, uh, nice little set play. By Peters, they get the point and the side out. Serve is in their direction. Substitution number 10 on the floor. Four. Peters Township, that's Jillian Kovac. Number 18 also checks in Katie Puckett. But it is Jillian Kovac, the senior, back for the serve. Peters trails by 10. Panthers at set point. Abby Drukas, Taylor Haley, Leah Kern off the block. It's still in play. Left side into the net, and that's that. My goodness, Panthers made quick work of the Peters Township Lady Indians in set number one, 25-14. Stay with us, everybody. Lots more volleyball to come. We'll be right back for the second set. Thanks for hanging with us, everybody. We'll get right on to set number two. Kevin McGahee here doing the voiceover. It is Cody Lance behind the camera. And, of course, the production talents of Glenn Warden, Upper St. Clair Cable 7, bringing you tonight's match. It's, all, it's October 1st. This is a Section 2 match. It's for keeps. And the Panthers needing this one to take over sole possession of second place in Section 2. Over the visiting Indians from Peters Township High School. They start with a serve in the white going left to right. Jillian Kovac with that serve. Sammy Amos with a quick reaction to her attack going into the right into the Peters block. From the left side, just touched over, covered nicely by Elise Oxenreiter, but it goes all the way back to Peters for a free ball. Ah, well off the block and down. Handled by number 19 for Peters, Brooke Linninger. And it will be Jillian Kovac again. Peters gets off to an early 1-0 lead here in the second set. Leah Kern off the block. Oh, it does come back. What a tremendous dig by Jillian Kovac. It'll be a free ball, Peters. To the back row. That's nicely placed by Lisa Oxen right a short set. Oh, Sammy Amos picking that one up. Taylor Haley could not find the floor. Don't go on to look like a good... Great idea. Leah Kern. Oh, tried to stuff it home. But it came down on the St. Clair side. Oh, mercy sakes alive. It's the 2-0. Peters Township lead. 
Jillian Kovac again. Good set. Leah Kern again. Tried to stuff it down over the net and came up short. Panthers suddenly trail by three. Jillian Kovac yet again. Abby Drukas. Sammy Amos up high and sailing it along. Well, it was just the reverse in set number one. The Panthers got off to the big lead. Right now it's Peters Township for the 4-0 second set margin so far. Lots of volleyball left to play. Sydney Slater off the block. It is still alive and will come back as a free ball. Abby Drukas, Taylor Haley. Sydney Slater off the antenna, out of bounds. Whoa, and just like that, Panthers down by five. Sydney Slater again. Oh, my, this time long. Well, Panthers a bit out of sorts here. This, uh, it's the same people on the floor but a completely different result than what we've seen. Emily Casson will check in quickly here for Sydney Slater. Emily's a senior. And an outside hitter. Let's see if this shakes things up a bit. Sydney having a little trouble there. From the back row, it's Sammy Amos just over the net and down that. That's, yeah, well, that's what the Panthers needed to get off the schneid here. Sammy didn't really pulverize the doggone thing, put it right where nobody was standing. And it will be Emily Casson, the senior back four, the St. Clair serve. Into the net, yeah, and uh, yeah. Those are tough to handle. When that ball gets into the net, bringing it back out is very difficult. And the Peters, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't see who it was. I think it might have been number 14 who got into the net just then, Jordan Herrickle. She got into the net, and it's a point Panthers. 6-2 uh, is the Peters Township lead right now. See if the Panthers can keep this going. And, well, it'll be a free ball. Oh, my goodness. That one rolled about six feet on the top of the net and fell right where no St. Clair player was standing. Side out and point Peters. 7-2, five-point Indian lead. Matty Ald with the serve and the overpass. Stuffed back down by Caroline Curran. Taylor Haley, awkward set. Lisa Oxen, Ryder. Whoa, must have taken her eye off that ball for a minute. It goes under the net. Now the largest lead of the night for the Indians at 9-2 here in the second set. Lisa Oxenreiter checks out, and Mia Marmion, senior defensive specialist, checks in to give Lisa a bit of a break here. And it's an ace for Peters, their third of the match. Maddie Old serving up that one. I hardly know what to say. That, that was Sammy Amos took, did the best she could with a set that was way over her head. The, the Peter Township player just basically stood in front of it and popped it right back over the net into an open spot in the St. Clair defense. My goodness. And the lead is now 9-11-2 Peters and a timeout called by Coach Yoko Nagao because something happened from the time that first set ended to the time we are right now. The Panthers need to get their collective act together, and I'm sure they will. But meanwhile, Sammy Amos, as you have seen, leads all attackers with six kills so far tonight. The sophomore, Leah Kern, she's got two. She's number 11. Number 18, Sydney Slater with two. Taylor Haley, number 19, the center has two. And one each for Becca Van Risen and junior Annie Kavrich, neither of whom are on the floor right now. But most importantly, can the Panthers break this mini run and get control of this setback?
It's an ace that tipped the top of the net, fell in front of the defense. Abby Druka says that, but it's a little bit of an overpass. No. Oh, nice recovery, Sammy Amos. Taylor Haley doing yeoman's work, dragging that ball out of the net to be a perfect set for Sammy Amos. 12-3, Panthers trail by nine. From the left side, from the back row, now free ball for the Panthers, and nobody's got it. Leah Kern bumped it up. Nobody, uh, nobody picked up the second touch. Side out, Point Peters at 13-3. Katie McGovern, the libero with that overhand serve. Well, they're gonna use Sammy Amos to break these runs. Four points now for the Panthers this set. 13-4 is the Peters Township lead. Taylor Haley now with a right hand serve. Back set right side off the block and over Abby Druka's head. Too bad if she were just five inches taller, she'd have had that. Side out point back to Peters and the lead is back to 10 at 14-4. And he Kavrich off the tip, but right at McGovern. Abby Drukas with it. It's back set, right side. Oh my goodness, Andy Kavrich couldn't get that one to fall. Short set and off the tip again. Break of Van Ryzen can't find the wood. How about Sammy Amos back left corner and out? Oh, she had the right idea. A push shot that she wanted to drop in the back left corner. Back set right side, and there's one. Sammy Amos seems to be. He's got the bulk of the attacks and the kills. I think she may have all five so far in this set for the Panthers. 15-5, Panthers need to dig themselves out of a sizable hole. And Sammy Amos at the serve. Jump serve, over the top it goes. Well, it's another one, a valiant effort by the young ladies, but point heaters at 16-5. Caroline Kern with the serve and an ace. Off of Abby Drukas, five aces on the night four. Peters, and this is a complete reversal of what we saw in the first set. Panthers had the 12 point lead. Now, uh, Lady Indians up by 12 at 17 5. At the net. I'm sorry, I couldn't tell whether it was a lift or a net violation. The referee's hand signal was hidden from me. In either case, it's a violation point, Peters, and a 13-point lead at 18-5. Left side, Abby Drukas digs it out of there. Nice dig by Abby. Oh, my, but lift called. Well, I can't think of a mistake that's possible to make that the Panthers haven't made this set. Best to get this one out of our system and maybe come roaring back in the third. Well, there's one finally goes our way. Service error. From Madison Kerr, number nine. Panthers get the point. But trail by a whopping 14, 19, or 13 rather, 19. 19-6, and now we see sophomore Emily Kennedy is getting, going to get a little play in time here for varsity. Left side. Great dig by Sammy Amos to keep it in play, but unfortunately a double hit call. Wow, Sammy Amos went a long way to her right 
to keep that ball alive. Twenty to six, Peters. Emily Casson, it's up in the structure, and it is played. It is still around to work with. Taylor Haley, short set, Leah Kern. Well, into the net, Panthers get a break. Maddie Old wanted a roll to give it a wrist roller to the Panthers' side. Falls into the net, substitution. Lisa Oxenreiter comes back in. Annie Kavrich back to the bench for the Lady Panthers. And Lisa Oxenreiter will serve. She's got two aces already tonight. How about a couple more, Lisa? Bump from Sammy Amos, Taylor Haley had a good idea to put that over. In the, yeah, that's a double hit right there. Hard to see from the TV, but it was a lot of spin on that ball on the second touch. Panthers looking for double figures here. It's 20 to 8, 12 point deficit for the Lady Panthers. Second set of this best of five match. Out it goes. Well, they get them one, but get them back one at a time. Good hard driving serve, that may be. Oh, it's brought back. Nice work by the Peters defense. Set left side, Emily Casson. Yes, down it goes, Emily Casson gets her first kill tonight. And the Panthers do reach double figures. It's, it ain't easy. But it's 20 to 10 now. One point at a time, ladies. Lisa Oxenreiter. Line drive serve, short set, left side off the Panther, blocking down. Leah Kern with the block. Only the second block and a timeout called by Peters coach Ashley Green. Well, the Panthers got a few here. That's the five point run going on. That's <laughs> Things were not looking all that great before, but suddenly Panthers sort of back in this, still needing nine to tie. Peters needing five to win set number two. Sammy Amos far and away the attack leader tonight with nine kills. Leah Kerr number 11 with two. Sydney Slater not on the floor right now. She has two. Taylor Haley has two of her own. Emily Casson with one. And number 28 Becca Van Ryzen with one. Annie Kavrich also has one of her own. Four service aces tonight so far for the ladies. Lisa Oxenreiter with two. Leah Kern with one. And Taylor Haley also with one. Panthers trail by nine. From the back row, free ball, Panthers. Emily Kennedy with a second touch. Taylor Haley, it goes backwards. Should be a free ball, Panthers. Oh, it barely, barely clears the net. That threw everybody off. Emily Kennedy just couldn't find the floor. Yes. A lift called, Emily Kennedy reaching way over her head for that. And it's 20 to 12. Panthers on a bit of a roll. Still a long way to go in this one. <laughs> oh, too bad. Serve goes about three feet long, and I know she wanted to dump that in the back left corner. So Peters now gets the side out and the point. It's 21-12. Panthers get the advantage on the receipt to serve. Oh, it was a knuckleball. Yeah, it went right back into the back left corner where no one was standing. Emily Kennedy took a whack at it but didn't have the control to get it to one of her front row players. 22-12 is the lead for Peters. Emily Kennedy, Taylor Haley with a set, Leah Kern just rolling it over the net, and that counts. Whoa, not, not the most powerful kill ever, but it counts in the book just the same. 22-13. Well, off the, the left 
that left-handed attack off of Katie Puckett, the sophomore number 18, and off the Sinclair block and out of bounds, 23-13. Emily Kennedy, Taylor Haley, Leah Kern off two hands and out of bounds. That's a nice short set. I like that play. A little quick set number. Becca Van Ryzen checks in. Emily Kennedy out. Becca with a little more height on that front row. Leah Kern now with a St. Clair serve. And a good one drops it just inside the back line. Her second ace of the match. Panthers within eight at 25-13. Just off the net. But Peters runs it down. Nice dig by Lisa Oxenreiter. Free ball. From the middle. Yeah, Emily Casson took a whiff at it. Did not make contact. And now Peters with nine set points in hand. And it will be Katie McGovern. Doing the Peters serving. Abby Drukas digs it off the floor. Sammy Amos puts it right back down on the floor. For kill number 10 for Sammy. Maybe too little too late. We shall see. Panthers need eight in a row. Any coverage number three checks back in. Senior Taylor Haley. There's the set, short set. Bumped up, who's got it? Of course, of course it's Sammy Amos. Who else would it be? 11 kills. Panthers ticking them off one at a time. They just dug themselves too big a hole early on. 24, 17, Panthers need a point. Short set, oh, just barely nudged over that net. It oozed over the net and the Lady, uh, Lady Indians, rather, from Peters Township, come away with a set two victory, 25-17. Stay with us, everybody. More volleyball to come. We'll be right back with a third set. All right, after that quick break, you just saw the Lady Indians of Peters Township come back with a victory in set number two to knot this match all up at one set apiece. Panthers playing now in the black left to right. Peters in the white right to left. And the Peter, uh, St. Clair took a little nap in that second set. Let's hope they've recovered. Emily Kennedy, well, diving for a ball that was probably Sammy Amos's, but Peters Township starts off with an early 1 0 lead. Emily Kennedy picks it up that time. Taylor Haley. Oh, Sydney Slater with a great top spin attack there, but it landed just wide into the Peters bench. And it's a 2-0 Indians lead. Well, this one's kind of starting off like last set. Peters with the ace and a 3-0 early lead. And it's Jillian Kovac. Good hard serve, but it will be a free ball. Peters, Lisa Oxenreiter, pooch it to the back right corner. Sure enough, lands just in, just in front of the lines, lady, on the far side, and it's 4 nothing Indians. Jillian Kovac again. with another ace. That's a really delicious looking serve. That's what you want to do. You want these serves to land on the back line. It absolutely freezes the defense just like that. Defense not on whether to play it or let it go. It was let go and fell in. There's Sydney Slater for her first kill since real early in set number one. Panthers off the schneid and it's 5-1. Subbing in, Sydney Slater goes out. Emily Casson, number 21, the senior, comes in. And she will serve. Yeah. 
Led with the left hand. Oh, slicing attack right at Emily Casson. Left side, Sammy Amos touching it over, but right at. Oh, it works. My goodness. Well, she put it right on the chest of one of the uh, Peters defenders, and it rolled off two more hands and down. Sammy Amos with some lickety spin on that thing, and it's a 5 2. Peters lead. Panthers edging back in this doggone thing. Lisa Oxenreiter, Taylor Haley, and Sammy Amos, an awkward set. Couldn't quite find an open spot on the defense. Uh, Emily Kennedy with a nice dig. Oh, she probably, well, Lisa Oxenreiter took a swing at it. She probably should have let it go. Emily Kennedy might have gotten to that thing. Either way, it's a Peters Township point. Substitution on number eight on the floor for the uh, Lady Indians. That is the Caroline Curran. She's been subbing in and out all night. Good serve and another ace. That's eight aces tonight for Peters Township off the hands of Lee Oxrider, and that lead is right back up to five. Sammy Amos. Keeping hope alive here with a touch kill. Went just over the front row, not covered by Peters. Leah Kern now trying to get uh, St. Clair back in this thing. Trailing by four, it's 7-3 early in the third set of this best of five match. Good serve by at the net. Well, Taylor Haley pooched it over at the net. The joust. Oh, my, it's a net violation. Becca Van Ryzen did the exact right thing, trying to touch that ball. But apparently, Becca takes exception to the ruling, but that's the way it is. That up official had a better look than I did. 9-3 is the Peters lead here in the third set. Of course, it's Sammy Amos. Who else would it be? 14 kills for Sammy Amos. Panthers get the side out in the point in a 9-4 lead now for Peters. Taylor Haley. St. Clair serve handled by Katie McGovern. Now it's a free ball, Panthers. Taylor Haley set. Sammy Amos putting it down. Ha <laughs> ha. 15 kills for Sammy Amos. That's a pretty good number. Panthers within four. Nine, five. Taylor Haley with a serve. Just barely over the net. Abby Drukas keeping it off the floor. Oh, just rattled over. From the far side. Annie Caverage trying to sneak it over the net. Didn't quite work, but Sammy Amos down it goes. Sammy was really quiet here in the first set and a half. But she practically all by herself in the hitting department at least. Kept us in set number two and is getting us, keeping us close in set three. Nine six, the deficit is only three. Taylor Haley, the dump serve. From the left side. Covered by Emily Casson. nicely done. And Sammy again, this time just nudging the ball over the net. The left-handed Sammy Amos hitting from the left side. May, may have all seven points in this set. I wish I'd been keeping track. It didn't seem important at the time. That's just trail by two. Too bad Taylor Haley thought she had the Peters defense fooled. Then it was popped right back. Taylor Haley with a nice dig effort at it, but not enough to keep it going. Taylor Haley, Becca Van Ryzen with the left hand, wow. 
She may be ambidextrous. That set went beyond her right hand, so she recovered with the left. Panthers trail by two. Sammy Amos now, will she use the jump serve? Looks like she will. Oh, it's a good one. Lands right on the line. Oh, my. I think she thought that was going long. But it ends up falling right on the back line. Jump, sir, yeah. Oh, it does it again, back to back. That jump serve, when done right, is devastating. It's hit so hard and high, you're sure it's going to go long, but the top spin that's on it drags it right to the floor, and we are knotted up at 10. Same again. Oh, that lands out. I was blocked by a, by a Peters player. Wow, that was close to dropping on the line. Everybody thought that was going long, and it did, but barely. Eleven ten is the Peters Township. Well, we get the service error. Eleven all. And it will be Katie up uh, did it again. Emily Kennedy subbing in to do the serving. Now can the Panthers take control here after coming out of that big deficit? They dug themselves out of the hole. Now can they put Peters in one? From the right side, there goes Long, and the Panthers get the lead. Wow. Down by a ton early in this set. Panthers have come roaring back to take the lead. 12-11 in this third set. From the left side, Emily Kennedy, nice dig, but not enough. Oh, Andy Cavage, she was afraid she was going to run into the referee stand. So we're all tied up at 12. Short set, Leah Kern, down it goes. Leah Kern. Five kills on the night for Leah. Panthers lead 13-12. Now, can the Panthers pad this a little bit? They got here, now pad it. Lisa Oxenreiter, nice diving serve and a free ball. Left side, Emily Kasson down it goes. Well, the hitting has showed up here and just in the nick of time, 14-12. 14-12 now. Panthers with a Panthers with a two-point lead. Lisa Oxenreiter, another good serve. Oh, that'll be a free ball, Panthers. If it oh, it doesn't come back. Lisa Oxenreiter had a ton of spin on that thing, and that just fooled two Peters Township players. Another good serve. Oh, and an ace. Lee Soxenreiter hammering one to the back row and a timeout called, and rightly so, by head coach Ashley Green. I wish I'd been keeping track of the hole the Panthers were in, but they have come out roaring since getting a hold of themselves here early on in this set. Wow. Sammy Amos, amazingly, leading all attackers with 17 kills now in basically two and a half sets. Leah Kern, a distant second, but she's put out a great effort. She's got five. Sydney Slater with three. She has one in this set, two from the first set. Taylor Haley, she got two in the first set. Emily Casson with two. Becca Van Ryzen now with two. Annie Cavage with one, but Lisa Oxenreiter now. Four service aces. Leah Kern has two. Sammy Amos with two. Taylor Haley with one. That's four, five, nine. For the Panthers, Indians have eight themselves and only two blocks for points. So somehow with this height, the defense isn't, well, it's working, but we're not getting those blocks. Peters is hitting over and around the St. Clair blocks. The lead is four now, 
And it's still Lisa Oxenreiter at the serve. Just over the net with another ace. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, if you could just do that every time. That throws the timing of the defense off every time it's tried. But, of course, you can't aim like that every time. 17-12 and five aces for Lisa Oxenreiter. Oh, and finally she was going to dump it on the back line, went about a foot and a half long. <laughs> Leah Kern putting it down. Well, this is the Panther squad from set one. I don't know what the heck, who those people were in set two, but this is what we saw in the first set. The passing and the hitting are working. There's this, oh, the set was too short. And it rolls over Emily Casson with a combination dig kill. You don't see that very often. 19-13. Good grief, the Panthers are looking sharp here in this third set. Taylor Haley with a set, far side, Sammy Amos, down it goes, of course. Just inside the back line, 20 now to 13. I apologize for all those foul thoughts I had here early in this third set, because the Panthers are, well, as a, Emily Casson, I know she wishes she had that serve back. It went just wide. Point and side out, Peters. Panthers lead by six, 20 to 14. And it will be Matty Old. For the serve, Sammy Amos with the put away. Nineteen kills for Sammy Amos. Over half of them coming in this third set. And there's a long way to go yet. 21-14. Oh, it's a free ball. I thought maybe they'd take a whack at that one. Short set, Becca Van Ryzen down it goes. Becca Van Ryzen. And some life on the Panthers side here. 22-14. 14. Leah Kern with the serve. Off the block. Dragged out of there by Sammy Amos and over it goes. Too bad. Ma, lift is the call. Just like palm on a basketball. Somebody got under that ball and had their hand on it for just a few seconds too long. Side out, Point Peters, 22-15 is a St. Clair lead. Katie McGovern with the serve and an error. 23-15, Panthers two points away now from a third set victory. Still plenty more to play. It's best of five, Taylor Haley. Little Bloop serve over the net. And hammered into the net by Madison Kerr from Peters. And just like that, the Panthers have nine set points in hand after trailing by five early in this set. Another Zeppelin ball at the net. It'll be a free ball. Not can the Panthers use it and put this thing to sleep. And he caveraged it with, was a touched. It was touched, the linesman called it a touch. And that is that in one of the more remarkable sets I've seen the Lady Panthers play. 25-15 in the third set to, to take a two sets to one lead. Stick with us everybody, we'll be right back for set number four. All right everybody, here we go again, it's set number four. Kevin McGahee still here with you. Cody Lance behind the camera and the Upper St. Clair Lady Panthers have taken a two sets to one lead here on Tuesday night, October 1st in this Section 2 match. 
The Lady Indians of Peters Township now still wearing the white. They'll be serving left to right in this fourth set. Panthers in the black with a white trim going right to left. Jillian Kovac starts off the serve. Lisa Oxenrider with an unusual set. She doesn't get to do that very often. And hit back, it comes and out of bounds. And the Panthers draw first blood on a, well, wasn't the prettiest point I've ever seen. But it counts in the scorebook just the same. One nothing Panthers. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm just trying to see what was happening. The referee tried to get the lines lady out of the way for Leah Kern to serve, and she does. Hard driving serve. Not to the setter, so that'll be a free ball, Panthers. Taylor Haley with the set. Sammy Amos with the finish. 20 kills on the night for Sammy Amos. That is a good number for five sets, much less the start of the fourth. Emily Cat, did I say Leah Kern served? It was Emily Casson with the serve. Handled by Peters from the left side with the left hand, not an unusual way to go about that. That's Leah Kern now, Leah Kern. Forcing that thing right down the gullet of the Peters Township defense. And Emily Casson's got us off to a great start here with three straight points. It's a 3-0 lead in this third set. There's the set, Sammy Amos won't have much to work with that. Well, it works anyway. When it's working, it's working. That was an awkward set. Sammy Amos basically just picked an open spot to put it in. It worked. And she's got her 21st kill and a 4-0 Panther lead. Good driving serve by Emily Casson. Will it? Oh, it is a nice attack by Peters. Sammy again, but into the net this time. Well, you can't hit them all. She's got the majority of them. She's got a pretty good hitting percentage. I don't, I don't keep the misses. But I do know she's got 21 on the positive side. Maddie Ald, the senior. For Peters at the net. Oh, Leah Kern, a nice little back set by, wow. Nice little back set by Taylor Haley and the put away by Leah Kern. Eight kills for her now. Emily Kennedy sits down for a minute and it's Becca Van Ryzen back on the floor and that should be an ace. And it is Leah Kern with the seventh man, the net in play, and she's got her third ace of the night. That goes backwards, and it'll be another free ball for the Panthers. So far, so good. Short set, Becca Van Ryzen, but at the net. Taylor Haley had the right idea, but just couldn't find an open spot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look, I'm 15 rows back, but Lisa Oxenreiter made a pretty good play there at a ball that was straight at her chest, and a lift was called. Oh, well, what do I know? I just talk into a microphone. Side out, point Peters. It's a 6-2 Panther lead. Make it seven, Sammy. <laughs> yeah, of course it's Sammy Amos. I imagine she does not get tired of hearing her name on these telecasts. 7-2, and Annie Caverts, number three, checks in to play the front row. Lisa Oxenreiter takes a quick break, and it's Taylor Haley with a little topspin serve. Oh, that's actually nicely done. By Christine Rentz, number six on the floor. First time we've called her name tonight for Peters Township. She stuffed one just in the back left corner, barely inside the boundaries. Number 13 also on the floor, Sarah Comer. First time we've men mentioned her tonight. 
Sarah Necki, the freshman, the only freshman on the varsity squad for Peters. A good serve, barely cleared the net. Left side, into the net. Will! <clears throat> Panthers with an 8-3 lead here in the third set. A fourth set, rather. Three already in the books. Panthers lead two sets to one. Sydney Slater checking back in. Emily Casson will take a quick break. Meanwhile, it's Sammy Amos with the serve. Let's see if she uses the jumper. She does. And it's handled nicely by the Lady Indians. Over it goes. From the back row now. Not much on it. Can the Panthers use it? Short set. Oh, the timing was off. Yep. Becca Van Risen's timing was a little bit off, and she ended up putting her foot over the center black line. That's a violation, and a point side out for Peters. 8-4, still the Panther lead on the receiving end of the upcoming serve. Right side, and he covers. Oh, just long. Oh, my. It nearly took Katie McGovern's head off. But it goes just long. Christine Rents, number six for Peters with that serve. And it will go way long, my goodness. That one went about six, eight feet long. Emily Kennedy checking back in. Becca Van Risen will go out. Emily Kennedy will play back row and serve, I would imagine. Yes, that's how the, that's how the substitution works. 9-5 is the Panther lead. Back spin serve from the back row now. Should be usable for the Panthers. And he Cavett's punching it, but it went into the block. Didn't land in or out. I guess it landed. I didn't see a sign from the lines, lines lady. It must have landed in. Peters gets the point and the side out. 9-6. Caroline Curran. Conventional serve, nothing fancy. Bump set. Sydney Slater, really awkward set. She did the best she could keeping it in play. Off the net and out of bounds. Yeah, not touched by a St. Clair player. Off the net and out of bounds. Yeah, even I saw that one from back here. Point Panthers, and it's a 10-6 lead. Andy Cavage, number three, will take a break. Lisa Oxenrider, the serving ace so far tonight with five aces. Backspin number. That'll be a free ball, Panthers. That set was behind the attacker. Sydney Slater. Oh, great dig, but it will not come back. Sydney Slater with kill number four. And it's a five-point Panther lead and timeout called by Peters Township. And I think they see this one slipping away, at least early on here. Panthers with a five-point lead and looking nothing like that second set uh, event that happened here earlier tonight. The Panthers having come alive in that third and so far dominating Peters here in the fourth. As you remember, Peters Township, down in Peters Township earlier in the season, two and a half weeks ago, Panthers took that match three to two. Panthers really need this one to take over second place alone in section two here. It's Sammy Amos doing some serious damage with 22 kills. Leah Kern with eight. Becca Van, oh sorry, Sydney Slater, number 18, she's got four. Becca Van Rys and three. Taylor Haley, two. Emily Cass, number 21, two. And Annie Cavert still has that one from the first set. And here we go. At the net, Leah Kern won the joust, but the ball is still in play. Left side. Oh, well, actually, well done. Sammy Amos gave it a whirl. She, she's 6-2 to start with and went a long way to her. She's left-handed and went a long way to her right to try to get to that ball. Peters gets the point, and Jillian Kovac, the senior, will serve. 
On the two ball, Taylor Haley almost got a hold of that one, but the covering back got a hold of it. Oh, slicing attack just out of Emily Kennedy's reach. And Peters is back within three at 11-8. Sydney Slater, it works. Sydney Slater basically pushed the ball over the net. It counts as kill number five, and the Panthers content to trade points right now at 12-8 to maintain that four-point lead. Just keep focused here, play some decent defense. Emily Casson, number 21, the senior. Good serve. That... Should be usable. It is indeed. Well, that it's Lisa Oxenreiter giving the free ball to Peters. Into the net. Oh, was it the Sammy Amos block? It was a block. Sammy Amos. Straight down that one went. 13-8. Five-point Panther lead. Serve off the net, but recovered by the Lady Indians. Just touched over the net. Great dig by Lisa Oxenreiter. And, oh my, I thought that one was long. It landed right on the back line. Well. That should be a free ball, Peters now. Now it's a defense. From the middle, well, didn't need the defense. It was a nice attempt by Christine Rents, number six, the senior hitter for Peters. But here we are trading points again. 14-9, the Panther lead is five. Panthers win this set. We're all home early to watch the Pirate playoff game against the Reds. Oh my, Leah Kern, I know she wanted that one back. Came in way low. Katie McGovern with the serve. Oh, well, well, some confusion on the St. Clair side. No attack that time. Oh, at least Oxen right. It's probably a good play to go after that. It was a close one. Would have landed very close to that sideline. Off a wrist, not a bounds. But now the Indians back within three. Panthers need to retain focus here. Katie McGovern. Good serve, good set. Sammy Amos off the block and down it goes. Sammy Amos. Again, she's making lemonade out of lemons here because some of these sets that that one, for instance, went over the over her head. She had to reach way back for that. Had the many times when that happens, you sail the ball long over the end line. She had the presence of mind to cock that hand down and down it went. 15-11, four point Panther lead from the left side. No help, uh, lift called, yeah, too bad. Well, Taylor Haley went after that with a cupped hand and had it just a little bit too long. So the violation, 15-12. Any coverage right off the block. It's still alive. Who's got the attempt? It's Sammy Amos reaching high for that. Oh, into the net it goes. It's a Panther point. Maddie Ald whacking that ball in the net. Sammy Amos with a good serve and dug out of there. And down it goes. It did not come back. It hit the net on the bump. My, well, I feel sorry for Peters for that one because <laughs> that setter had a beat on it. But Sammy Amos will serve it again with a five point lead 17 12. Oh, just inside the back line. A beautiful serve. And I described it before. These 
when these jump serves are done right, you think they're going to go way long, and the top spin just drags them right down on the back of the court, and that's exactly what happened. 18 12 Panthers. Six point lead. Left side, Sydney Slater. Oh, tremendous dig by Katie McGovern to keep that alive. Unbelievable. Becca Van Ryzen shoving it to the back right corner. This is the best hitting I have seen out of this team in the home matches I've been involved in this year. It couldn't happen at a better time and in a better way. My goodness, 19-12 is the score. Seven-point Panther lead, and that's exactly where you want to be when you get to the to 20-point territory. 23 kills on the night for Sammy Amos, and that may add up to her best two nights so far together this year, this season. Leah Kern having a terrific night, the sophomore number 11 with eight. Sydney Slater, the senior hitter, eight, uh, number 18. She's got five. Becca Van Ryzen just captured her fourth. Two each for Taylor Haley and Emily Casson, and that one hanging in there for Annie Caverich. Well, Panthers in pretty good shape here. It's a Sammy Amos ace. Diving down just in front of Katie McGovern. Five aces for Sammy Amos. Five for Lisa Oxenreiter. Three for Leah Kern. One for Taylor Haley. And it's an eight point Panther lead at 20 to 12. Into the net. Wow, if that one had gone another, what? Three inches higher, that would have been an ace. Side out, Point Peters. Panthers lead by seven. And make that eight. 21-13 on the service error. Emily Kennedy now checks in. A nice little topspin serve, and that should be an ace. That's four hits. Emily Kennedy hit hit Katie McGovern right at one of those places where you have to decide: is it going to use the underhand bump or the overhand touch? And she decided just a millisecond too late. And it's a free ball, Panthers. Can we use it? Andy Kavrich off the block for her second kill tonight. Wow, Panthers with a 10-point lead now at 23-13. Emily Kennedy, top spin serve. And a nice dig. Can Sydney Slater, no, right at the, she, oh, great defense by Peters to keep that alive. Holy smokes. Oh, and Leah Kern just shoves it wide to the near side. Wow, a tremendous defensive play by the Lady Indians. The Panthers still with a nine point lead at 23 14. Good serve. Left side, Sydney Slater, just long, oh my. She had a really good look at that, but pushed it just beyond the end line. Oh my. I thought it was called out, it's a Panther point. Forgive me for having looked the other way. I do not know where that point came from. Can we finish it off now? It's match point. Not yet. Sammy Amos with a bump. Sydney Slater. Yes, that'll do it. 
Sydney Slater finishing things off with a shove shot over to the Peters Township bench and the Lady Panthers come away with a pretty interesting four set match, three sets to one by scores of 25-14, 17-25, 25-15, and 25-14. This gives the Panthers a five and two record in section two and four now, depending what Connellsville does tonight. I'm not so sure who they play. Panthers in control of second place in section two, trailing only the Lady Max of Canada McMillan High School. Well, thank you for joining us for this very interesting match tonight. Kevin McGee, he's my name. Cody Lance behind the camera and the production talents of Glenn Warden, Cable 7 and Upper St. Clair. We're glad you're with us tonight, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching and good night.